Handwriting recognition has been an option in Windows for over 30 years. And with Windows 11, things are slowly moving forward. But why would you want to handwrite instead of typing? Well, there are many modes of work that require people to be mobile, moving around while collecting data. And handwriting is a great way to do that. It's less prone to interference than voice typing, and the ergonomic setup is better than typing on a touch keyboard. Handwriting recognition, like we'll show in this video, is not a good solution for note taking, and it's not designed to replace a keyboard. OneNote is the best tool for note taking, and it uses the handwriting recognition system shown here to recognize your handwriting in the background. We'll link to some videos about that below. But handwriting recognition is an important data capture tool nonetheless. So let's take a look at how to use it in Windows 11. To open the handwriting keyboard in Windows 11, click on the keyboard icon with your active pen. I'll use my Surface pen, and you can see that the keyboard opens to a handwriting mode. If your keyboard doesn't open to the handwriting mode, you can switch there by clicking on the keyboard settings icon and selecting handwriting. Write words along the line and they'll be converted to text as you go and typed into the application that you're using. Wherever your cursor is, the words will be typing in there as you write them. Focus on the words that you're writing and complete your sentence before you worry about correcting things. Handwriting recognition in Windows 11 uses the AI text prediction that we discussed in the last video about the touch keyboards. That means that words will change in your sentence as you continue to write more words. So ignore it until you're done. There are several shortcuts for editing what you've written, and you can find a summary of those by clicking on the help button in the bottom right hand side of the writing panel. This opens the tips app that includes a video of each editing action. There is a gesture to erase, a horizontal line drawn through the word. There's a gesture to join two words together, which is an arc between the two words above or below. You can insert a space or split a word by drawing an up arrow underneath the word, pointing to the spot where you want the space to appear. And lastly, to make a correction, you can simply draw over a letter that's been recognized wrong. Making corrections like this helps the AI to learn your specific handwriting style. In Windows 10 and previous versions of Windows, there was a utility that allowed you to train the handwriting recognition system by writing out sentences. That's no longer required in Windows 11, and you'll find that it does a pretty good job of recognizing your handwriting without the need for any training. It will get better over time too. You might notice that as you write a sentence, it appears in the application that you're typing into with an underline. This underline represents the words that are currently available in the handwriting panel that can be edited. You can scroll back and forward through the words that you've written to go back and edit. Tap on the word with your fingertip or your pen to select it for editing. You'll notice that other possibilities for the word appear in the bar at the top. You can simply select one of those possibilities, tap on it to type it in instead. Again, this will teach the AI your specific handwriting style. On the right hand side of the panel, there are some keys that allow you to directly input and manipulate text. There are backspace and enter keys. Click on the three dots to open up and see the symbols and the spacebar. You can switch input language here, and there are a number of languages that support this type of writing input. To see if your language supports handwriting input in Windows 11, click on the settings icon in the keyboard, select more settings, then language to open up the languages page in the settings app. Click on add language, search for your language, and if it has this handwriting symbol alongside of it, it supports handwriting recognition. Install it and download the optional handwriting feature to make it available. If your language doesn't have handwriting recognition yet, jump into the Windows Feedback app and ask for it. And be sure to share the request with your friends and colleagues so that they can vote for it too. I found that handwriting numbers using this tool in Windows 11 works better than it did in previous versions. But the symbols library is really nice to have here for directly inputting symbols. These can be a little bit hard to get right with handwriting entry, so it's handy to have these available. You can navigate between symbol sets using the arrows on the left hand side of the panel. You can also press and hold on any of the numbers or symbols to type alternate versions like you could on the touch keyboard. The space key functions just like the space bar on the regular keyboard. You can double tap to type a full stop on a space at the end of your sentence and press and hold on the space key to navigate the cursor through words by swiping left or right. So this keyboard option allows you to handwrite to type into any application in Windows. It's a very important tool for people who are walking and working, collecting data in the field. It's also very handy when you're working with the pen. For example, I use handwriting recognition a lot when I'm working in apps like Concepts or Shaper 3D. However, working with apps like that shows up the limitations of this tool. 
The interactions between the on-screen keyboard and applications like the File Save dialog box are very awkward and can result in a complete breakdown of usability. What I'd really like to see from Microsoft is some serious commitment to tools like this right across the system. They claim to be a company that's focused on accessibility and inclusion for all. Well, handwriting recognition is a tool of inclusion, but unfortunately it doesn't get the priority that it needs in Windows from the Windows engineers. There's certainly some limited progress on the tool in Windows 11, but it's not enough. There's too much keyboard-centric thinking that goes on at Microsoft, especially amongst the engineering teams. For example, in Microsoft Teams up until recently, it was practically impossible to use handwriting recognition to type a chat or a message in a channel. The application framework that they chose to use to build Teams simply didn't support the input controls required to make it work smoothly. Fortunately, they've now fixed that, but for several years that was a major problem. Searching in Microsoft Edge remains a problem using handwriting recognition. Data entry is simply not treated right there. Even data entry in Microsoft OneNote using this tool is a bit broken. It's time for Microsoft to pay attention to much more than keyboard and mouse. Multimodal interaction is the future of computing. The marketing teams know it, but I think the engineering teams are yet to be convinced. What I'd really like to see is a leadership mandate for a week of no keyboards across the Windows engineering teams. I think that it would pay Microsoft to make their engineering teams aware of what it's like to work every day away from the desk, truly mobile and limited to only on-screen keyboards and handwriting recognition for input. Tell us if you've been using handwriting recognition in the comments below. What have you found? Let us know and make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell so that you get notified about our weekly videos on Windows, Microsoft 365 and Mo... Mo... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Microsoft 365 and multimodal devices.